live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2016. Brought to you by AWS and its ecosystem partners. Now, here's your host, John Furrier. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent 2016, their Amazon Web Services annual conference. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. The Cube are out here for three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. It's our day two, day one, really for the show to kick off. And our next guest is Akash Agarwal, Vice President, Senior Vice President, uh, I'm sorry, Global Vice President with SAP, and Rudy uh, Leibrandt, Senior Director of HANA Product Management from SAP. Uh, guys, great to see you, good to see you again. Thank you. Um, covered Sapphire this year, and it was really, um, you saw the, the first big picture of SAP going beyond just their install base, looking at the cloud as not only uh, an extension of SAP, but new opportunities cloud native things and customers kind of coming together. That similar story that we're seeing with VMware and AWS, that now the hybrid cloud is really uh, in play, 100%. People are recognizing that. So, I want to get your thoughts here at AWS, your relationship uh, with AWS. What do you guys, uh, what's your relationship? What are you guys talking about here at the show? Sure, uh, so thank you. We're excited of being in the cube here. Uh, SAP and uh, AWS have a very unique partnership. I think you saw Andy Jassy talking about the enterprise. Uh, we'd like to think that you know, we've defined the enterprise. Uh, we're the fourth largest software company in the world, and uh, you know, what Amazon and AWS presents our customers is a unique opportunity to accelerate their data, their workloads onto the cloud. And we've been using, SAP, uh, we've been using Amazon's uh, AWS services both as a customer as a technology partner and bringing a number of our assets onto AWS Cloud. And this, this journey is, uh, began as a customer in 2008 and you know, I'd like to think that we're one of Amazon's uh, strategic uh, partners. You heard Andy Jassy yes. mention uh, SAP a couple of times, particularly on some of the node sizes that they have specifically designed yeah. for uh, enterprises around the X1. Well, I really wanted to bring you guys on uh, here on the show, here at theCUBE, because it, People might not know that you guys have a deep history with Amazon, going back a bunch of years. What, just spend a minute to talk about the size and scope of uh, SAP's involvement with uh, AWS and some of the innovation that you guys are doing because it's not just a Johnny come lately, jump on the bandwagon with AWS. You guys have been you know, in there doing a bunch of stuff. Can you share, take a minute to explain you know, the relationship, depth, and uh, some examples of the innovation strategy you have. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick summary and I'll let Rudy jump in with some of the products. Uh, so we've been in partnership with AWS since 2008. So SAP has you know, a, ma a big footprint in the, in the market. We have you know, our flagship database product, HANA. We have many applications. We're running a lot of cloud-based applications like Concur and SuccessFactors and, and Ariba that are cloud-first and native cloud. So notwithstanding those applications, a lot of our customers are running various kinds of workloads that today lend themselves very nicely to the cloud. And I'll let Rudy jump in and give you a quick synopsis of some of the great products that we have that are certified to run on AWS. Yeah, I think there's a few things there. So you touched on um, some of the product stuff and quite, quite an important thing for us is to make sure that we certify and work together with AWS to make sure that customers can run the best uh, possible product combination and get the best value out of the technology solution. So some of the things that we do then is uh, certify on the specific uh, AWS instances. So recently we did a certification for our HANA platform on X1, um, which then uh, makes sure that a customer can deploy that technology without uh, running into any snags when they run it in production. Then we do all sorts of different things with the AWS platform to enable um, development and trial systems. So if a customer wants to discover something and wants to get, start getting used to the SAP technology, they can do that easily through a, a list of appliances. Um, and a few months ago, we launched a new solution uh, based on HANA. It's our business warehouse solution. It's, it's called uh, BW4 HANA. Um, and that technology was designed with the cloud deployment model in mind. So, what, um, we, what we did jointly there is, is, is launch the solution based on the X1 infrastructure, or the, the X1 instance, um, and we've already got a first customer live. So we, we've uh, got a customer called Fairfax, they're an Australian media organization, 
um, and they managed to go from nothing to production in about three months, right? and um, in the same time decreased their development time by, by about 50 percent, and uh, had about a 10 percent or 10 times improvement in uh, performance on their reports uh, on the reporting systems. So it goes all the way from uh, from implementing and using the services when we design new products co-innovating on them, and then obviously making sure that customers can consume those technologies. What's the drivers right now for you guys with um, AWS and SAP? Because your business, you guys power some of the biggest enterprises with your SAP software and the HANA Cloud. You did a deal with Apple for the developer side, which got some swift language, is getting a lot of great reviews. So you have this new, new world of cloud native. You have the existing on-prem activities. You guys have huge market share. Where's the drivers? What's the use cases? What are some of the pressure points? That's, and what are customers excited about? What is the, what is the big aha for customers with respect to uh, integrating in with public cloud? Yeah, so I, I'll, let, me, let me touch on that and perhaps uh, Rudy can give his perspective as well. So I think that the first and foremost thing is it's accelerating deployment of software. So I think as Andy Jassy pointed out, it's speed, it's agility. It's the ability to bring your assets to a whole host of users that didn't or couldn't do it. So I think that's one dimension. The second dimension is cost. I think cost and complexity is completely eliminated by moving a lot of our workloads into the cloud. And the other thing is that you know, a lot of consolidation is happening with regards to various ERP systems, various data systems, and what we're doing is by embracing public cloud infrastructure like Amazon, we're allowing our customers to embark on the digital transformation journey very rapidly. Agil agility got to be key on that one, right? Yeah, agility is, 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 is paramount. I think it's, it's, uh, you know, it's what the market is demanding. I think uh, Andy Jassy put it very nicely that we hear from our customers and it's no secret that you know, a cloud is paramount and is important to both the enterprise as much as the startup. So I think you know, hybrid cloud is one way of doing it, data consolidation, data aggregation, data transformation. These are some of the drivers yeah. for what we're doing. Rudy, what are the product uh, drivers in, uh, that are enabling uh, the cloud growth and the integration? Uh, is it the data warehouse? Is it other things? What's the, what's the key product? Uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of a combination. I think uh, first and foremost is uh, our new generation of uh, SAP technologies all based on our in-memory HANA platform. Um, so, what that, so customers are, are modernizing and moving to the new platform and we have huge adoption on this new environment. Now, um, so what that means is that these customers are likely to going to go cloud first with those solutions and not go on-prem. No one wants to acquire more infrastructure and in fact, when we speak to customers, one of the key things on a more personal, uh, or a lot more emotional thing is this desire that I see of people wanting to move out of their own data centers, right? So customers just don't want to be in the data center business. And then obviously, things like uh, data warehousing and better analytics and better insight into their customer activities drive new opportunities for us too. So we have yeah. a range of new product opportunities and what I'm finding is that customers choose to deploy those things in the cloud first. Guys, well thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Final question, I'll give you guys the last word if you both could, could address the question. What's the big aha for SAP customers and potentially, your potentially new customers on SAP AWS? What's the, big, what's the big news that they should know about? You know, I, I think the, the big aha is uh, that... Uh, You're getting some phone calls on theCUBE. Look, go ahead, let's say It's it. all right, it's, it's, it's my phone. It's a deal it's McDermott. No, it's, it's not Bill McDermott, no, no. Bill McDermott, he, you got to look at it. Uh, he's doing other things. I think it's uh, find my phone trying to locate me or something. Uh, anyhow, I think, I think the big aha is that I think the, the public cloud is real, and I think uh, SAP customers are ready and uh, wanting to kind of get on the cloud. And for us, I think, you know, working with Amazon and embracing different technologies that they have and our data can really help kind of move our customers into the next generation of, uh, you know, computing. So the data's big, big asset. Yeah, and I, th I think it's, it's uh, you know, it's what the market demands. I think that's kind of, it's cost, it's improvement, it's agility. All these services that are coming yeah. in, these services are coming in into the cloud first. And if we don't bring our data set and our customers into the cloud, we're going to get left behind. Rudy, real quick, what should the customers focus on for the impact from a product perspective? I think what um, customers have come to expect from the uh, traditional guard vendors is longer deployment times and implementation times. And that generally has to do a lot with the way that they run their data centers. So what we're finding is that the big aha for customers using SAP and AWS together is a really fast time to market 
but really, really quick out of the gate to get the solutions running uh, to meet those business projects. All right, guys, thanks so much thanks. for coming on theCUBE. SAP here at Amazon Web Services reInvent, the enterprise world is completely converging in, the public cloud, hybrid cloud, all in play. Guys, thanks so much Thank for sharing. You. Thank you very much. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with more live coverage after this short break. I'm John Furrier, we'll be right back with more, we'll be right back.